and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Deep Sea Monsters. Got some new tech in here, got some different things that we're going to be trying. This was a viewer submitted list. That's what the two Ds up there mean. This was a donation deck. Um, right off the bat, you can see at the very top, Fading Memories. This is something that I haven't really played too much of in a Sea Monster deck. We're going with the full three copies of Fading Memories and combining that with Jettison give us um, a whole bunch of toss because of course with the fading memories you want to be copying um, dreg dredgers that's the best thing to copy but besides that you can have thorny toad you can have dead bloom wander that's really what you want to be doing with that card um, you know you could do like jaw hunters later on in the game you can get like devour the depths you can always do your opponent stuff you could do a shipwreck order lots of things to, to use with this card uh, but the best is the dredger. So between the dredgers, the fading memories on dredgers, and jettison, we have a whole lot of one mana cards that toss. Um, besides that, not not too much tech. I mean, we got some. We got lure the depths in here, which you don't always see in sea monsters decks. I like that card. I mean, I think it's pretty exciting of reducing the cost of the sea monsters. That's cool. And then we got the chronicler of ruin. This was the tech that I had whenever I played this deck previously. So we got this because this card is also amazing with your um, with just all the cheaper stuff, with Jaw Hunters, Wanderer, Thorny Toad, Dredgers. Chronicler of Ruin's great with all of them. Also Chronicler of Ruin works well with Fading Memories because if you um, Fading Memories and make an ephemeral copy of something, then you play it and then you also play your Chronicler of Ruin, you can kill it and revive it as a non-ephemeral copy. That's something kind of cool that we could do. Uh, so that's our deck. Let's give it a try. We're going to go play uh, five games over in ranked with our sea monsters. And let's see how this version does. Okay. <laughs> yeah, we got... So now we know it's exactly three weeks until we're going to have new cards. So not too bad. Not too bad to wait. Uh, we got three, three weeks, twenty-one days. Do you just do we just keep all the thorny toads and wander? I guess. I guess we maybe just keep all of them. Oh, I can interact with their decks on or their board. Huh. Um, let me get rid of this card. All right, that's our best card. Definitely an ideal deep hand. We're gonna be tossing a whole bunch of stuff. This is this is pretty ideal. Give me the stuff. Stuff make happy. <laughs> um, one point patch one point eight should be the new set. And then uh, 1.08. Patch 1.08 should be the new set. And then they'll skip patch 1.09 and go to patch 1.1. Because then that'll be like the first patch update with the with that set out. Um, They're so small, but she ain't lacking courage. Do not deny me. <laughs> All right, well, I'm going to try to just go straight with to combat with the Jaw Hunters Set the and challenge that. didn't play anything and so I may just be walking into another pump spell yep 
looks like I did. They... T TK, they announced a few months ago that the next set was going to be in August. My life. But you're you're correct. That that did baffle me that the last patch update that they didn't say anything about a new set coming with patch 1.08. That was quite baffling. I meant to cast Glimpse Beyond. I kind of forgot. I guess I'm playing Wander instead. I meant to play that Glimpse Beyond. So I had to block both of these things so Zed wouldn't level up. was really nice that they hit like for them that they hit you know Zed right away with the Omen Hawk and you know have the turn three four three Zed well that's good uh, especially how Do not fear the shrouded path. Yeah, like the three two when we had the one fours the, the one fours would have blocked the three twos just fine Two away from deep. Hmm. They are kind of incentivized to play more things. So up to 11. So drawing another Nautilus is pretty nice that we're going to have Riptide for next turn. Do not fear the so that, that'll be perfectly fine. have as far as interaction goes really none that's that's kind of like what our deck you know like we're, we're just skimping like we don't have interaction so there's not there's not really a use glimpse beyond to search for interaction not really a use for that Yeah, it's true. We have not seen a Will of Ionia in a very long time. And I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing to not have interaction.
So that's them attacking for nine. Right, because the Zed brings another thing, so he'll pump up the two Green Glade duos. That's so seven, eight, nine. So I can take nine I will not rest. fairly easily. I don't, I don't think they just have, like, two direct damage. There really should be Fury of the Northing. I guess they're... Are they saying the last card's deny or something? There's... Yeah, the last card's deny. Okay, so never mind. I was gonna say they should be Fury of the Northing, the smaller thing, but their last card was deny. Um... Yeah, good hand. Good hand. Um, I didn't think we would be losing that one, that game. But... Fury of the North is a heck of a card. Two great Fury of the North there. Uh, the the 4-3 Zed put us back quite a bit. Um... I don't know, Cabo. I don't. I don't know if like spider aggros are really that that good to climb. Cause yeah, you said there's less will and static shock. There's not really less static shock. Cause there's a lot of Ezreal running around. There's a lot of make it rain and twisted fate and just that kind of stuff and you know reckoning. I don't. No, I'm not. I want to be real confident in that kind of, and ranking up with that kind of deck. Yuck. Hello. Yeah, not having our Shadow Isles control things hurts the deep against Green Glade duo decks, but that's just not... I'm, I'm not really that... I'm not mad at that at all, because it's just not something you see in the metagame very much at all. I mean... It's what, like... like I, I, Ionia is kind of nowhere. Like, it's... Well, like, Ionia is what, like, maybe 5% of the metagame total? <laughs> you know, it's like Green Glade duo decks are like 2%. It's like, sure, you know, we got paired against one, they had, a, you know, great cards, and, and we lost. Okay, I'm, I don't think that means that, all right, well, nope, now we definitely need Withering Whale. Go put Withering Whale back in the deck, and stuff like that. Why do you play Omen Hawk over Hapless Aristocrat in an Endure deck? Because of... Hapless Aristocrat can get you two kills for They Who Endure, but Omen Hawk can completely steal games or, at the very least, turn the tides of games dramatically whenever you, in the games that you have Omen Hawk on turn one, and then you either have Elise as a 3 4 on turn two or Callista as a 5 4 on turn three. Um, those are just huge swings. And, you know, just huge swings that, that a card like Hapless Aristocrat is not, um, is just not capable of. Besides that, you also have, um, Besides that, also Omen Hawk is three three power and three health across three bodies, and Hapless Aristocrat is two power and two health across two bodies. Right, there's... Yeah, so... 
but Sternberg, that's I just told you, you play for the upside. Like that that upside of of hitting on those champions is is nuts. Like it's it's crazy. Like it's so good. And so like it's just so much better than anything hapless aristocrat can possibly do. And so you you just go for that that upside. Sharpen the blade, secure the kill. What if we get a one mana five five? I feel like that could be pretty useful, especially when we have cards like Maokai. You do not need to have Streamlabs Pro to donate. Um, no. I don't know what that's about. Uh, they, Streamlabs does try to, to sell you extra stuff and everything. Try, just... Um, yeah, so no, you do not need to have that. I was really hoping to get that 1-mana 5-5 five five here where I could play Maokai, play the 5-5, five five, get the sapling from Maokai, and challenge. That's what I was hoping to do. All the world on one arrow. Corruption everywhere. Hey, Matoto. Yeah, I needed you last turn in Rage Yeti. Yeah, I'm sorry about that, Lim, but good, good thing you figured that out. So we'll still be two away from deep next turn. Okay, well that will get that will get deep going on. Well I guess let's see. So yeah, let's just play this. Oh, I haven't checked. No, I haven't. I haven't done anything with our pet yet. All right. So clicking on. That's what clicking on our pet does. There we go. Thank you, Lem. Thanks for the donation deck. I'm sorry, Streamlabs. Like those, the message looks really bad with the <laughs> with the deck list. But let me go check. Yeah, let me go check it out and. Uh, See what it said there. Okay. So if I... Mm, I can't go Lure and Shipwreck Order and Enraged Yeti. Alright, so Talizu... Uh, Talizu... No. Talizu. Talizu. There we go. Talizu had a donation deck just a little while ago, and now 
Uh, Lim has one also. All right, cool. I'll plan on playing both of those tomorrow. Okay, cool. So they're very close to leveling up this uh, this ash now. Yeah, we get some great donation decks. Absolutely. Oh, you're welcome, Azir. You're welcome. Yeah, that was good. That was the, um, the seabird deck, right? That was good. going to three. Alright, so this is me dying. So we want to probably do... Probably do this trapper. Like, it, if they gotta draw one of those cards, I think I'd rather that they draw a trapper than draw Ice Veil Archer. Because at this point, I don't mind them just drawing some pretty good sized units. for those other three cards. I could see them playing like a Sejuani. Alright, that makes sense. And so I was gonna like save Devourer for the Sejuani. Or the Cat of the Arm. I feel like saving Devour, for, especially for like Ash, right? Like Ash is like a way that we lose this. I feel like it's good to save this Devour. Whoa! I've had gifting out the subs. Thank you, I've had. Oh my gosh, that's amazing! We just got five brand new subs, and I love it. Chat is getting all this hype in there. That is wonderful. Drew Smoke, Swear Slow, Darth Drew, Emru, and Zuvart. All five big uh, stream watchers. Perfect picks there. So we're going to have some bonus stream today. That's what that means. Um, anyway, I am going to... 
I'm going to kill this. Yeah, we're going to kill this. Or re replace that. Kill this thing. Try to get some treasures. Toss another two. Okay, we did not get any treasures. Sometimes you just toss the treasures and you get that. All right, we're gonna have some bonus stream today because we got our sub goal. That'll be after Professor Jinx tonight. Oh, I love it! Double Devourer. Love it. I think we're going to be winning this one. I think we're going to be winning this one. Alright. GG's. That was a good game right there. Alright, back to the 101. Been a little bit since we played at ranked games with the last two days being at meme tier playing some normal games for a while. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, thanks Ivad, thank you so much. <clears throat> yeah, that was definitely big getting rid of the Caddo uh, with that. But Nautilus's Riptide saved us. You know, we were taking lethal damage, but the Riptide kept us at three. Perfectly. There we go. Love this hand. Double dredge dredgers and a thorny toad. We're going to be off to the races as far as tossing goes. And of course, we want to be tossing our sea monsters because then Nautilus will bring them back. The other thing I kind of like about this list is I like that we're not playing the five mana um, sea monster, that we're playing Beast Below instead. I think that's. I think the five mana sea monster is a little bit of a trap. A little bit. And I'm glad we're not playing him. So this is just probably probably going to be remembrance. Okay, just just Vanguard Sergeant. That's so small, but she ain't lacking courage. I didn't play anything on turn two because I wanted to have the two mana for Glimpse Beyond, basically. I didn't want to like really play these things and then not be able to have Glimpse Glory Beyond Ranger. available. Um what do I want to do with this Fading Memories? Do I just want more Dredgers? Or do I want a Jaw Hunters? That's the main question. I don't think I'm going to take Jaw Hunters. That's really what we have to worry about if we would take Jaw Hunters. I'd have to use that first. Cause see, I, I like it right now because like they can't play they, they can't play I like killing that thing this turn. Like I don't think that's a good attack with them if they have Radiant Guardian, because you know, like now they can't go Radiant Guardian right now, so I like that. They could still go five mana remembrance, but then that but then that's only a five mana spell.
And we kept that extra two mana. So that worked out well. Pretty indecisive on what I want to do. Very indecisive. I like that. I wish I had that last turn and I could have used my mana on that last turn and been going with Shipwreck Order this turn. How far are we from deep? Six? So this, this should get us deep. We play Shipwreck Order, because we'll toss two first and then shuffle two treasures. So that should get us to 15, so we'll just be deep. So this thing will be, um, you know, a 10-8. Alright, so our other atrocity's gone. So Thresh is currently at 2 out of 6. It says 1, but this is going to die, so it's currently at 2. So if I attack with these things, and like they could go block, block if they want, that could be 3, 4. Okay, so they're... Thresh is currently at 3 now. So if I just attack with this, they block with that, and it just makes it 4. Probably not the best attack. We have the Terror of the Tides as well. Doesn't seem like we need to do that attack. And just simply get rid of a hapless aristocrat. So many shipwreck orders, I love it. I want I want to play Devour on this, but I want to see if they spend any mana first. Hey, <laughs> you just looked at stats. There's no region combination that has a positive win rate with Ionia. Yeah, it's pretty rough for Ionia. They really did just nerf everything in Ionia all the time, right? Like just. Everything. Hey, pools, it's going good. It's going good. Hey, Shreve. Let's see about that that single combat. That was pretty nice. I guess I shouldn't have played the four one. Um, that was pretty nice. Our deck doesn't play that much removal, right? Like, single combat, concerted strike, vengeance. Like, that's kind of it, as far as re removal for, like, these bigger things. And 
They've had a just a ton of those cards. Hmm. Well, that seems useful. So their plan may be um, Rekindler, bring back Thresh, then we'd have Devourer, but I guess, oh, Thresh is going to have 7 health, won't it? I forgot about Thresh having 7 health. Well, we'll just make some 8-8s, I suppose. 8-8s are also good. Treasures are pretty sweet. And pretty excited about us having more shipwreck orders for more treasures. Ouch. That's a great one mana card. Great horn companion. And that's the card I needed. start throwing down these things everywhere I go the light follows Meh. they are at two Atrocity. They go ruination, like I'm fine, like my hand's amazing still, even if they ruination. It's all good. Virtue guides me. Justice will be served. Yeah, we'll be we'll be just fine in this game. We will be just fine. That card could be Detain, I guess. That would be the only thing that would keep them alive would be Detain. It's not very likely. If I like if I go for if I go for the 13-13, the only thing that keeps them alive is Detain. Or I could go with the 9-8 and then they could have another concerted strike. But it's not not likely they have another concerted strike. They've already played one, they'd have to have it, you know, so that'd have to be the third. Not super likely. I think that's better going for it, where if they do have, you know, if it is Detain, they're getting rid of the 9-8, they're not getting rid of Nautilus. I don't really want them to get rid of Nautilus. Okay, two and one. 
I like this version of Deep more than the one that I played the other day. I like how we're just not going with Grasp the Undying and Withering Whale and make it rain and all that kind of stuff. Just not even worrying about removal. I actually kind of like that. I think our deck, I think our our list is, it honestly feels pretty strong here. Um, I like it. I like this version of Deep that we're playing. Yeah, that's, that should be the only Detain that people would play would be the one that gets generated from um, the Mage Seeker, but, you know, you never know, people play, people just play random stuff. Alright, so reverse the other version of Deep, the Discard Deep. Oh, you're no, yeah, you're welcome, Drew. No, this I like your list a lot. I think this is this is really good of how how just not messing with that stuff because those Shadow Isles removal spells just aren't very good, and I'm I like how we're not messing with them and we're just doing the deep stuff. I, I do think that's good. The question is, is if we block or not if they attack. Because of fading memories. That's why I wouldn't be sure if, if we are supposed to. But we have another dredger. So I want to get the attacking. I don't think they're playing Make It Rain, but just in case. Take that. That's better than Maokai. Getting killed. I don't even know if it's worth it to play Maokai right now, to be honest. That was a good draw with the dredgers that we can play with, Maokai. So that would be 5, 9, 13 toss. Uh, plus the sapling would be the 14th. So we, we will level up Maokai this turn. Obliterate that whole deck. But it'll be... It'll be after they hit. They get to draw one more card. Sapling will die. Turn five, leveled up Maokai. Y'all see that happen very often? Probably not, right? We had two Jettison, three Dredgers. They're deep now. Does, um, is that donation decks have slowed down? I mean, we did the last eight, the last, like, we're going to have ten donation decks in a row, right? Like, the last two days I did all donation decks. 
don't think they've slowed down. Uh, but anyway, Nautilus... Oh yeah, okay, so tossed allies that are cost 4+, plus, not obliterated. So tossed, not obliterated. Ah, uh, yeah, it's... Gotcha. Yeah, I... I do a lot of donation decks, for sure. And yeah, the last two days have just been full on donation decks. Um... They don't play Atrocity because they're not Shadow Isles, and so I'm not as worried, as far as like, you know, have Devour for Abyssal Eye, I'm not as worried about that Abyssal Eye, um, because, you know, they only have three cards left, and if they attack and hit me with the Abyssal Eye, then they have to have lethal damage, because then they won't have cards left, unless, I guess Nautilus could put a, a couple of cards back, if they have Nautilus. Could be a problem. There's only one card to, to toss. Well, that one card to toss got rid of a puff cap. We haven't, um,. We haven't drawn a single one of our Nautiluses yet. Ugh. When we do, it'll be very nice. Alright, oh, how many cards do they have now? So they have three now. Dang, that could just be us, I guess, could just be us dead now. Forward, forward. Dang. That's why I need my Nautilus. Definitely hoping they don't have another... One, I hope we draw our Nautilus, and two, I hope they don't have a second. If they don't have a second Nautilus, we're still good. Draw a Nautilus. Maokai, I don't need you. Hmm. Well, looks like we lost. The one card left, that was... Yeah. Looks like we lost. So even if I would have gone Devour instead, oh man, and they had a, they did have a second Nautilus. Man, that just was just perfect for them. That was a perfect, perfect cards to have. So we had turn we had turn five Maokai level up, but it just shows that Nautilus is still the the best card in the deep mirror because it just makes all those things just zero mana, especially after we both lure the depths. Um, and yeah, they had multiple Nautilus, we had zero. That's just the difference. Riptide's perfectly fine. The spell it doesn't need to cost more. I think that. We need to stop having all the spells cost more. I think Will of Ionia should go back down to four. I think it's okay to have spells cost me, you know. I think it's okay to be able to cast spells and interact with your opponent. I think that's okay. But the game is turning into where that's not okay, because every 
Every spell just keeps on get, getting more and more mana. Uh, I kind of... I mean, I kind of want to just keep the Chronicler of Ruin, actually. I think I just keep all of this, to be honest. Yeah, yeah I kind of think I just keep all of this. So basically, my plan here is, you know, we'll have the Dredgers. Well, the Fading Memories copy Dredgers. I can... it Like, I have to wait till turn 5, but on turn 5, I can play the Ephemeral... Dredgers, and then Chronicler that Dredgers, um, and then you know we get we get another six toss. See if they have removal spells. Ah, uh, static shock. That was the worst possible. I was thinking like Mystic Shot to kill the Doll Hunters, not Static Shock. Still not too big of a deal, though. Alright, I'm still planning on next turn, Fading Memories, Chronicler of Ruin. Okay, more fading memories. Alright, so this turn, you know, we're gonna be getting another six deep. I guess we have to wait till next turn. Um, I haven't noticed any difference with any animation changes yet. Do you do anything? There we go. <laughs> Our deck is just always deep by the time we have by the time turn seven rolls around with Nautilus. I do like that. So many things, so much just always deep. Alright, four cost flash of brilliance. I'll give him the two one draggling. What is gained when we return malevolence? 
We are playing against a deck that can remove my Nautilus. Like, this could be a Will of Ionia deck. You know, we don't see a lot of Will of Ionia around, but this could be an annoying Will of Ionia deck. I think we're going to sacrifice the Chronicler of Ruin to draw to... So Maokai is 21 out of 25. <clears throat> okay, we'll like, definitely sacrifice this thing. Don't have to worry about two damage going on by. We'll kind of see how many Will of Ionias they have. Alright, boo at the donation deck. <laughs> oh, what's up? It's Jody. Breathe in, breathe out. Okay, so they're still at 20. Um. Let's go, let's see, three, four, five. I guess we go Devourer because then we can have the mana for Atrocity. No, I want to play Terror. So, morning tea time. What, what, what is that? Um, what is that uh, deck? Let's see, I have two more. I have one from... Uh... Looks like I should have kept Atrocity available. those written down. Okay. Spectral mat Matron and Ledros. Nice. Do you want um do you want it in normal or ranked? Which one would you prefer? Would panicking help, brother? <laughs> Dang, Jody, that's crazy. So this would do 5 damage to me. I 
And to put me down to three. Um. So yeah, we can we can atrocity or glimpse to pre to prevent that five, and I'm I'm kind of deciding which one we want to do, and I I kind of feel like we want to do the glimpse. Try to prevent that. Okay. Very good. The dragon spirit awakened. Extend your senses. The dragon himself. Alright, so now pretty sure we just go straight to attack. It's not like playing Nautilus and then some sea monsters makes my attack any better. Right, like I'm pretty sure we just go straight to attack. Uh let's see. Let's say they have the lifesteal barrier. They gain eight. They block here, gain eight, they still die. So Yeah. I guess the You know, like if they have like some st stun cards. But I'm keeping them from being able to use Oh, I guess they have that card. You've done it this time. I'll see this through. Act free of dog. Hmm. I guess that card's a thing. I mean, they could just deny atrocity, right? Doesn't deny still cost four mana, right? I guess I should have played those things out. Oh, Vault Breaker. Breathe in, breathe out. I think we really need to try it. I mean, I think it's better to try it where we would save something else from happening. I will not hold back. Very least. Our enemies cannot hide. Clear your head. Let your instincts speak. Do need to worry about going down to four of mystic shots killing us. Hey, QQ. It worked. It worked. Yeah, I, I didn't think that was gonna work. I thought they had deny. I really did. I wasn't even expecting that to work. 
Um, a deck like that, like, you know, like we don't have very many deny targets. Like they had not, you know, they didn't cast any denies the whole game. So like a longer game like that, I thought they would have had deny. Um, so yeah, what, what just happened was atrocity. I, it says kill an ally to deal damage equal to its power to anything. So I killed my own Nautilus to do 13 damage. My 13 power Nautilus to do 13 damage to them. And they were at six. And so it killed them. Yeah. So I really liked this version of the Deep Sea Monster deck. I did. I I uh, I did. I think both of those games that we lost were super close and could have gone our way. You know, like uh, they're you know they both could. Like uh, the second opponent, the second one, you know, like they had to have Nautilus and and they really need to have two Nautilus, honestly. And and that uh, first opponent, you know, used every single card in their hands to to barely kill us. Um, this deck felt really good. I, I liked this more than the normal deep decks because I liked that we just weren't messing around with, that I didn't have Grasp the Undying and Withering Whale and those kind of cards in hand. Um, I liked that. I liked that, that we're just being really proactive, just keep on playing things to the board, keep on playing more and more units out. Um, and, you know, using those, we, we did a great job tossing between Jettison, Dredge Dredgers, Fading Memories. Memories looked great because we had Dredge dredge dredgers a lot mulligan to those and we were just able to um you know we were able to go deep really fast jettison was good and with memories we were able to go deep super fast and of course chronicler helping us get more deep as well and then your jaw hunters gets you your sea monsters your lure the depths gets you some sea monsters um and then you know we had some some other sea monsters here in hand uh so yeah for those y'all that like this kind of deep deck, I definitely recommend trying this version. As far as it felt a lot better, I've played a lot of different deep decks before, and this one definitely felt like the best. You know, no no vengeance, no grasp, no withering whale, no ruination, and none of that garbage. Just do your your um, a plan. You know, like do plan A and do it the best that you can, and that seemed to be a lot better, uh, in my opinion. All right, uh, those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know um, if you also uh, th think this was a great list and if you try it out yourself, let me know um, how it goes for you. You know, leave those comments over there. I'd appreciate it. But thank you so much for watching some Deep Sea Monsters and I'll see you for the next video.